Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Where are we today? We're in Horsey, which is not far from Great Yarmouth. Now where are we going? We're going to a very, very special place. It's called Poppylands. Now Poppylands is privately owned, run by a family, and it, it specialises in 1940s memorabilia, Dad's Army, all the works from World War II. It's got a fantastic reputation and I'm starving and I can't wait to give it a go. As always, let's give it a go. Okay, so we've just come inside Poppy Lands. Unbelievable. You take a look at the uh, images of everything around here. This place is truly staggering. He's stuck in a time warp. The memorabilia is outrageously good. And it carries on with the, the, the theme of sort of Dad's Army and the rest of it and World War II. Here's my ration book, which is my menu. And in it here, it's got a brilliant range of various things, veteran meals, evacuee meals, light rations, hot drinks, cold drinks, alcoholic drinks, and officer's mess. Now I'm gonna do something a little bit different here. I'm gonna order two meals. I'm gonna go for the officer's mess, French resistance, which is their all day breakfast, which is 11 pound 95, two butcher's sausages, two smoked bacon, two eggs, tomato, baked beans, and chunky chips. And then, I'm going to go over to their veteran meals. Now these are smaller plates and I'm going to try, let's have a look here. Yeah, I'm going to try their Bomber Command, which is bangers and mash, which is £8.95, which is served with red onion gravy, garden peas. And if you take a look down here, I've got my cappuccino, a little Spitfire on top as well. And my Rosie Lee, but we don't call it Rosie Lee in here. We call it a Vivian Lee. And look, you've got the pike on top as well. Okay. I should see you when the meals arrive. This place is incredible. Big smile on my face. Really, really love it here. Brilliant. Okay, so my meals have arrived. Got to bear in mind that is a small portion. I'll come on to the breakfast in a minute. So I've got two uh, sausages, um, mashed potato, really thick gravy there, and some nice peas. Presentation wise, that looks incredibly good. Really, really tasty. Just as well, I'm really hungry, isn't it? Let's cut into the sausage. Really nice pork sausage there. Mm. 
Mm. That's a really tasty sausage. It's not one of your catering types. That is a real butcher's sausage. That is excellent. Let's try some mash. Mash has got a lovely taste to it. Real nice texture to it. It's nicely mashed. Seasoned really, really well. That is really good. Let's try it with some of the gravy and the peas. Look at that really thick gravy. The mash itself, going back to it, it's kind of really buttery. Excellent seasoning in there. That's really, really good mashed potato. The star of the show is definitely the gravy. Really rich, really thick, lovely gravy. Peas, peas are peas. They're nice peas. I'm gonna tuck in small rations. Oh, lovely. Okay, some breakfast has arrived. A nice portion of chips here. Cameraman did snaffle a couple of them there. Two sausages, a couple of pieces of bacon underneath, two of the free range, free range eggs, some beans, and half a tomato. So, into the egg. Nice colour to the yolk. Now, in fairness here, I think the eggs would have been a lot more runny um, had I eaten them straight away. The problem is I had the bangers of mash first of all. Let's try the egg in here. Really nicely fried. You can see underneath there where it's been fried. Sausage look identical to the bangers mash I heard earlier on. They are excellent sausages. And my bacon. You can see the bacon. Nicely griddled there. Bacon really, really smoky. Beautiful flavour to the bacon. Nice and thick as well. Let's try some beans. Nice rich colour to the beans. Mm. That's excellent. Let's have a chip. Real nice crunch to the outside of the chip. Nicely golden. And again, nice good potato content in there. Normally I say fries are fries, chips are chips. They are really good chips. They are really good chips. I'm going to tuck in here because obviously I don't want to get cold. And I'll see you guys when I finish. Really impressed with this breakfast. Really nice breakfast.
don't know if any of you saw my last video. I didn't get very many chips on that one. Uh, in fact, I only got nine. The difference here is I've got a lot more and they're far better. A lot better. They've even got a little shop. It's absolutely lovely in here. Marvellous. Fantastic range of stuff. I'm going to take a look around. See you in a minute. Okay, I drove three and a half hours to get here. Do you know what? That was perfect. I have no issues, three and a half hours back. <laughs> you can see the smile on my face. I've just been down memory lane. Poppy Lands is an absolute credit to the owner. He has been saving all the memorabilia for years and he's created an absolute little gem, an absolute fantastic little restaurant to come to. The staff here are incredibly nice. The standards are impeccable. It is a truly wonderful place to come to. If you're into your history, if you're into Dad's Army, if you're into your memorabilia, just come down here and have a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, because it is so worth a visit. It's, it gives your eyes an absolute treat. You're back in the 1940s. Genuinely, you're back in the 1940s. Okay, you probably don't want to be back in the 1940s, but it's some lovely memories there. Some really, really great memories. Okay, onto the food. They've got all the little touches absolutely perfect. The ration book, which is your menu, how they describe each item on the menu is truly amazing. Bomber Command, uh, the Churchill sandwich. I think that's all really, really good. The HP sauce in, in an original bottle, incredibly clever. Uh, the cappuccino had the Spitfire on top. Just brilliant, brilliant touches. Really, really clever. Now my bangers and mash. Really nice, really nice sausages there. Uh, pork sausages, they were from the butchers. They, they weren't uh, catering sausages at all. The mashed potato was nice and creamy. Real lovely flavor. Really enjoyed the mashed potatoes. Pizza peas, they were nice peas. Gravy was really th thick, rich, dense had onions in there, all the flavour all came through. That was an incredibly nice bangers and mash. On to me breakfast. Well, I was a little bit full up after the bangers and mash, but that breakfast was excellent. Two free, free range eggs there. I was a little bit unfair because I had the bangers and mash first, so obviously the eggs went a little bit hard, but they had a lovely flavour to them. The back bacon, two nice uh, slices of back bacon, nice and thick, smoky cooked exactly as I like them. The two sausages, well, I've already said the sausages, full of pork. Lovely, lovely sausages. The chips, the chips are really, really tasty. Nice and golden, bit into them, nice crunch uh, on the outside, inside, really, really soft. Very, very nice. Beans, they were quality beans. They were very, very good beans. Um, the tomato was a fresh tomato as well. All together, as a breakfast, that was one really, really enjoyable breakfast. So the bangers and mash was really good. The breakfast was really good. The range on that menu is so extensive. You can't find something to eat on that menu. Well, I don't know what else to say. Now, what am I going to give it out of 10? Ambience, setting, <laughs> that's easier 10. Quality of the food. I really thought the quality was superb throughout both meals. Again, I can only give that a 10. And the service, again, that's a 10. So, what mark can I give it overall? Well, of course, it's an easy 10. 
you're ever in the area, you have got to try Poppy Lands. I can't explain it. It is a walk down memory lane. It is an absolute joy to come here. Absolute joy. So please, please try and get down here. If you could like and subscribe to our channel, you know I appreciate that. And I would love to hear your comments. What did you think about the place? The cameraman, he absolutely adored it as well. Both of us got big smiles on our face, even though we've got a three and a half hour journey back. Until next time, bye-bye.